Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a get ready with me and I want to feature some of the makeup purchases I made in the sale. It's not a lot and I want to play with that um, Natasha Denona palette. Somebody said to me, um, so somebody said to me if I can do like a get ready with me, like showing the products I used and it just took one person I was on it because I love doing get ready with me videos, but um, it doesn't get a lot of views. I think these days especially people don't have the patience to sit and like watch watch you do your makeup but it just took one person and here i am plus i wanted to do this video anyway all right so i've primed not primed i've done my skincare i primed with um my max strobe cream in gold light and i color corrected with this um makeup forever hd color corrector. It's like orange. I don't remember the exact um, the shade, but I'll find out. All right. So as you guys know, I purchased this Tom Ford stick foundation in the sale. It's definitely the wrong shade. It looks sort of red and dark, but I mixed it in with his shade in the Illuminate and I loved how it looked. So this is what I'm going to do. So and this, this retails for $90, but um, I picked it up in the sale. So I got it for 70 something. And as you can see, <laughs> for those of you who watch, cause I did a review on it when I got it. It is, yeah, this is not my shade at all. <laughs> but I make it work. And then I go in with shade and illuminate and I have shade and illuminate in what is it? 10.7 Amber. You think I would know this? It's one of my favorite foundations. And I put two and a half pumps because this is light. So it my face doesn't look um it doesn't look cakey. Alright, and I'm using my elf sponge. It's one of my favorite um beauty sponges. I like it better than the Beauty Blender, original Beauty Blender, and plus it is cheaper. See how this looks? And it's so dewy. I have very dry skin if you're here for the first time. So I appreciate a good <laughs> dewy or moist base. All right, so I'm not finished with my eyebrows yet. I just set it with got to be glue. So this is why it looks, um, and I carved it out. This is why it looks crazy. All right, for concealer, but well, I'm doing a full beat. I'm going in with two concealers. I'm going to use my Urban Decay. Um, I've been doing this combo a lot, and I like it. My Urban Decay Creaky Concealer in 70NN, and my Natasha Denona, the High Glam Concealer that I'm loving so much in P6. So I start off with the Urban Decay. This is almost finished. I'm going to be, like, doing this a lot. <laughs> I hope it doesn't irritate you guys. And I'm also going to put this on my lid. And I like mixing the two, especially when my um, foundation is a little like more on the warm side. Well, not warm, like the cooler, redder side like this. I like doing um, this combo. And this Urban Decay Concealer, it dries down, it dries down fast, so I don't let it sit. So, you know, this is my favorite concealer brush from Sephora, the number 71. So I purchased a new one um, during the sale. I love this brush. I think it's perfect because see the way that it's shaped, it gets in the spaces like perfectly. Love it. And this concealer is one of my favorite concealers. I feel like it's just flawless. I cannot find a fault with this concealer. It is so good. And now I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona. And this is in P6, like I said. 
And I'm just going to put a little bit. I put two dots like right here. Right here. I don't put it too much in the corner. Because to me sometimes it looks too bright. Because this P6 shade is like really bright. And while that sits, I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, do my cream contour. And I'm using my curve case. I did a full review on this. It's so beautiful. And I'm using the two middle shades. They're called Shade and Laid and Blend and Snatch. So I'm going to be blending and snatching. <laughs> so yeah, I'm using these two shades right here. Look at my... I love this Smashbox brush. Such a tongue twister. Look how, look how it's getting now. It's all like fraying. I'm going to go to the CCO and get another one because this is where I usually get my Smashbox brushes. I had two. I don't know what happened to the other one, but it's quite annoying because I love this brush. And what I like about sometimes with like when you do, I mean, it's not ideal when the foundation, you know, looks a little red, but you don't have to put a lot of like cream contour because it already prov like provide like that kind of contour. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend out the Natasha Denona and look how stunning it is. I love this so much. And to think this was just sitting in my drawer. I don't know how I forgot about this. I'm not sure what happened. Well, it's partly because I have too much, um, too much makeup. <laughs> because like what other reason could there be? For me to have forgotten, look at me, I have the brush everywhere. For me to have forgotten that I have this, but it's like really pretty. And it just, it just makes the center of your face pop. Of course, I'm going to blend it out some more, but see, and I love using the brush to get my concealer before I go in with the sponge to like set everything. I think it makes a big difference on how it sits on the face. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to set my under eye, but first, let me just make sure I don't have any creasing. I'm gonna set my under eye and my um my lids. And I've been using the Huda Beauty Powder so much, I'm like, they're gonna be sick of me. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me and I have it in the shade 30. I love this for under eye. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me. I really like this. And I'm gonna put it on my eyes as well. I'm excited to, to play a little bit with that um, Natasha Denona. I need a nude palette. And now I'll set the entire face with my Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. I have it in the shade shade deep you guys know i absolutely uh, love this powder it's so finely milled and i know that term gets overused a lot finely milled but this really is finely milled it's like you're putting nothing on your skin and it doesn't look like you're wearing powder and i need that for my skin especially now that it's cold because it's cold outside it was like 38 degrees in New York this morning. All right, so before I go in with my eye makeup, I'm gonna go in with my first bronzer. Yes, I'm gonna be using two. I'm using <laughs> the Gucci, and this is in, I think, shade five, the deepest shade. And I can't, I don't know where I put my Makeup by Mario brush that I like to use. So I'm gonna use this Fenty brush, this little claw brush. And I don't do too much of this because I'm gonna use more of the other one. Yes, I'm extra, but like I said, I'm doing a full beat. All right, so let's start on the eyes. Um, I finished my brows off camera because I would have been here all day. So I used this ColourPop pencil. I got this from Ulta. I thought it was going to be a dupe for the Sephora pencil. To me, it's just okay. Like when this is done, I'm going to go back to my Sephora pencil. It was a little cheaper, but it's not as good as the Sephora pencil to me. All right, so I want to play with this Natasha Denona. I need a nude palette. Oh my God, I didn't know all of this was going on in this palette, this beautiful design. It's so pretty. I think this is one of the her prettiest outer packaging. It's so clean, so pretty. Um, 
But I'm going to use my um, Vanessa Myricks Her Groundwork Neutrals as a base because I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this shade all over the lid. Because, like I said, I'm obsessed and I want, I want to have like a cream. I want to have like a cream down before I go in with the Natasha Denona palette. All right, so to the Natasha Denona, I need a nude palette. I know you guys have seen it. So you know what I'm going to be going for, right? I'm going for this brown shade right here. I can't see the name. I'm not even going to try. Oh, Silhouette. Okay, I did okay. I'm using the same brush that I used. Oh, this feels really pigmented. And I'm just going to carve out my crease right here with that. And then I'm going to blend it out. Oh, this is nice. It's like, it looked warmer in the pan, but it's more of a cool tone brown. I don't mind it though. Oh, I'm gonna pack this on, I like this. And it's sticking nicely to the um, the cream base. And then, and these are all um, Sonia G brushes. These are my favorite brushes to use for face and eye. I rarely use other brushes. So if, if you ever see me on camera doing my makeup, I'm using Sonia G brushes. And I'm gonna be doing a very simple eye. So, but you guys probably already know what shade <laughs> I'm gonna go for. I'm going for this shade right here. What is it called? It's called Muse. It's sort of like a gold shimmery shade. I'm anxious. I didn't swatch this palette or anything. I literally wanted to use it on camera and um, be surprised. All right, let's go in. Bam. Oh my God, this is pretty. Wow. I was not expecting that but I am also not surprised. Okay, Natasha. Okay, I get it when people say that these shimmers are better than the Makeup by Mario His Ethereal Palette. I get it now. It's, it's creamier and um, the formula feels, it's a little, it's like heavier, if that makes sense. I'm adding some more cream in the crease. I really want this to be like dark right here. Yeah, the formula has this, um, it's more silky smooth. It's more pigmented. It's full of coverage. I don't know if shadows can be full coverage, but this is how I'm gonna describe it. It's like fuller coverage. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, this is, and I think his are more like toppers. This is. And for my brow bone, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Fair, right there. Put that on my brow bone. Oh, that's a good matte. Okay, it's a good nice. matte. Nice. All right, so, but for my crease, not crease, my crease, my tear duct, I wanted something more gold. I don't really see like, besides that, anything that has like more like gold so i'm gonna mix i'm gonna mix this shade right here in it's called sheesh i'm gonna mix it in with um the gold i usually like to put in my um teared out and this is my tom ford palette this is cognac sable is discontinued but it's just um it's just like a champagne gold shade within this palette that I love using in my tear duct, this shade right here. Um, this is one of my favorite palettes from him. I cannot believe he discontinued it. Like that's blasphemy. All right. So let me get this in there. It's just the perfect shade of gold. I love it. But I wanna go on top with that other shade, sheesh, and see how that looks. All right, so let's go in with sheesh. This is what it looks like. 
It's like a pale sort of pink. I think these two mixed together should be good. And I'm using the same brush because I don't mind if the gold. I have to use my um, <laughs> magnifying mirror. Oh yes, this gives it a nice little sparkle. Oh my God, these shimmers in her palette is amazing. I get it now, I really get it. Oh, that is so pretty. All right guys, I'm gonna go in with lashes and liner and I'll be right, right. back. Let's jump into bronzer. And I purchased the Pat McGrath bronzer. When these launched, I was not interested. The colors looked weird. And then when I purchased this, this is in mahogany, right? I think it says bronze mahogany. And the color looked weird. It almost looked pink, like a sort of pinkish, grayish tone. And this is why I also like to pair it with um, another bronze. I don't know what happened to my Mario brush. I'm pissed. But when I put it on, it looks really nice and it's very pigmented. I was pleasantly surprised. So I've been loving this. See, look at that. Immediately, it just bronzed up my skin. And I'm like, okay, Pat. Because I haven't purchased anything from her in a while. Like, I haven't been wowed in a while from her. But I, I like this bronzer um, a lot. It's good. I like the way it sits on my skin. Gives me that nice chocolatey look. See that? I like a nice bronzed forehead. <laughs> So let's jump into blush and I'm using the blush I'm obsessed with, my Patrick Ta blush in She's So LA. So All right, She's So LA. How do you describe this? This is like a terracotta. I love it. It gives me like a natural hue. So I go in with the powder first. This has been my go-to blush. Look at that. Instantly just gives me that natural sort of look. And I think when I first purchased these blushes, when it launched a couple years ago, maybe three years ago, I don't know. I don't think I was using it right. That's why I didn't like it. Because how could I not have liked this? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and then I like to take a sponge and go in with the cream and put over top of that. And then I go back over with the powder only because my skin is so like dry. If I don't like, it just looks weird after a while. If I just leave the cream, why am I closing it? I said I'm going over. <laughs> so I go back in with the powder and I just cover wherever I put the cream. Isn't that pretty? It's so nice. All right, so let me set my face, my Jumbo Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I use it so much and I feel like it's still here. I'm, I think this was a good investment. I'm glad I got it. All right, so I'm gonna set my face and I will be right back. So for highlighter, I'm going in with MAC Loose Highlighter in Golden Bronze. This has been my go-to highlighter for years. I've had this for so long. I don't think it'll ever finish. Um, the lashes I'm wearing is from Amazon. It's from a brand called Poop Lunch. That's, that's the real name. In the style Foxy, you get nine in a pack. No, seven in a pack for like $10. You get what you pay for it though. These pair, this pair is so wonky. You know, but like I said, you get what you pay for. And sometimes in the pack, you'll have one pair that's wonky. I think this is the one pair that's wonky. It's driving me crazy, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so, and I'm using this Anastasia, Anastasia brush that I've had for years, and it has held up so nicely. And I want to keep the highlight, like, to the apples of my cheek today. I, I'm not going to pull it up on my, like, the high parts of my cheekbone. All right, so I purchased this Make a Forever pencil, this artist pencil in Limitless Brown. And I was trying to get... The little, they had like a little pack that had five or four of these mini pencils. There was like a black, there was like a white and some browns. Every time I put that thing in my basket, they kicked it out. I was so pissed. And then um, they kicked it out and I kept trying to put it back in. It says the product that you're um, searching for, we don't have. 
not like it's sold out. It says, um, the after this though, they don't know what I was talking about. I don't remember what the message said. And I'm like, what? So this is like a reddish brown shade. So I'm like, I'm trying to remember what it says. It's almost like they said we don't carry it. And I'm like, so why is it on your damn, why is it on your website? I was so annoyed by that. And the thing is, you know what? I didn't need this pencil. I was so mad <laughs> that I didn't get that little set. I went in, I went into Sephora and this was like an impulse buy, this and the Gwen Stefani thing. I'm like, okay, I couldn't get those pencils. I'm gonna get a pencil, which I'm only punishing myself because I paid for it. <laughs> I am insane. I was like, oh, do the guys didn't want me to get that set? Oh, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this pencil. I literally did. And I picked up the pencil, I swatched. I was like, oh, it's nice. And I ended up purchasing the pencil. So Sephora played me. I got played and I played myself. I am insane. All right. Most of the time is when you see my lip, my lip combo. It's a brown lip liner and one of my Vanessa Marricks Color Fix, Color Fix Mattes. In the summertime, I was using shade 9. In the cooler months, now I'm using shade 8, which is a cooler tone. It's my go-to lip combo. I love it. I haven't found anything yet that I like better. I'm using my finger because I still don't have a lip brush and I keep saying that every video. <laughs> it just has like that nice naturalness to it and what I love about these color fakes, like when they say matte, it's matte. It does not move for anything. It just doesn't move. All right, so I'm gonna go in with some lip gloss today and I'm gonna wear the lip gloss from Juvia's Place. It's in the shade Oasis. It has like a gold peach pink undertone. I love it. And when I do lip gloss, I don't like to spread it over my entire lip. I usually keep it in the center, like right here. And this has a very similar formula to the Fenty. Oh, I thought my phone was ringing from my son's school. Um, it has a similar formula like the Fenty. It's not sticky. And as a person who wears their hair down, I hate when my hair like moves around or blow and it gets stuck on my lips. So I love this formula. It smells great. It smells very similar to the Fenty as well. Yeah, it smells like a sugar drop. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I loved how everything came out. I love this palette. I'm so glad I picked it up. I'm so glad I picked it up. It's good. I cannot wait to play with the other shimmer shades in this palette. This is good. This video is going to be long because I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> All right, guys, and to the person who asked me to do the get ready, this is for you. Any excuse for me to do this? Anyway, guys, seriously, though, I want to thank you so much for um, all of you who keep supporting my channel and who keep supporting me and who watch my videos and who always encourage me. I appreciate you guys so much and um, because this is like my little escape from my chaotic life, honestly. Like behind the scenes, my life is very chaotic. But um, because of my son and the stuff that I have so many limitations now on me because, you know, of his diagnosis and everything else. So this is my little escape, my little world here. And I appreciate all you guys who have come in and made it so much better. And I want to thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.